early this Sunday morning. Mason getting ready to do the game call here in Philadelphia. It's Temple and East Carolina. Good season for Temple so far. Yeah, it has. It's been a fun time doing it here. Uh, we're inside the basketball arena here at Temple where we've been remotely calling the games uh, from about the half point of the season on. And we'll take a look at the setup and, and what's going on in a little bit. All right, down the hallway we go. In about an hour, it's Temple and East it's Carolina. Good morning in Philadelphia, and this is the American on ESPN. As we welcome you one final time in this 2021 season to Howard Field in Philadelphia, it's senior day for the Temple Owls as they host the East Carolina Pirates. Good morning, everyone. I'm Kevin Kopp alongside Mason Viner. Mason, uh, this is the second meeting between these teams in the, this weekend series, and the first one belonged to Temple, and it belongs specifically to Megan Hoffman, tying a record that has stood in this Temple program for 40 years as she had seven assists to lead the Owls to a six-goal win over the Pirates. Yeah, Hoffman had a great game. Along did this Temple offense. Uh, after a slow start, they got it rolling. We'll get to see today if East Carolina can keep the tempo of the game down and hopefully stay in it for a little bit longer. 19 on Friday, uh, Trinisky, who leads the team in assists, was without an assist, and so very, very heartening for the Pirates to see those two connect on uh, the go-ahead goal. Yes, it is, and it's about establishing the rhythm, and right there, that, that's not really a situation you want to be in as a team. You're a late shot clock, the ball's at X, you don't really have it, but just keep working at it. And that's that's kind of change in attitude that I think uh, Amanda Moore and this East Carolina sideline was looking to see out of their team. They do, and that one just happens to be from your leading assist player to your leading goal scorer. That's an effort play. It's not necessarily a skill play. You just stick with it in your head, and you find the open player. Temple trying to answer, trailing for the first East time. East Carolina's trying to take away the sure back side, the opposite side crease where they were hurt so much. That time they lead Bridget Whitaker, which is the easiest pass on the field there, and she just quick face dodge moves, sticks it inside Let's that Let's hit that Whitaker uh, graphic. Well, Bridget Whitaker has come on so strong for Temple. She's been strong this entire year, Mason, but what she has done of late has just been incredible. If you look at her first nine games this season, just over two goals per game, half an assist per game, those are great numbers, but what she has done in the last three games, the two at Cincinnati, home on Friday against East Carolina, Four goals a game, over an assist and a half per game. I mean, that, that is just tremendous. Uh, for all the credit that Hoffman gets, Whitaker has been on the receiving end a lot of those assists and, and has put up some great numbers. And, and she's a player when we were doing the games earlier in the season that I kind of figured would pick it up and play really, really strong games at some point. She has the full skill set. Every once in a while, when you're having a player that's later in their career, it, it takes just that one game to really get you going. And she's had now, as you just said, a couple of them in a row. And, if Temple's going to make a deep run, I believe that they are a team that can make a deep run this year. She's got to keep producing like this. Master Pietro has to. You get your star players all going at the same time. And then players like Mackenzie Roth throw in a big game. And unfortunately, this team lost Karen Nacratius, but they still have all the weapons that it takes to make a deep run. And yeah, Karen Nacratius. to get in and take on the Gators. Tough assignment, of course. you got to play Florida in Gainesville in the American Athletic Conference semifinal. But uh, one of those three uh, will get in as the fourth team. And it's one of those moments as a coach where you aren't really sure what to say. I, I have to imagine you haven't had the best season. Uh, in Cincinnati's case, they're, they're the youngest program, Old Dominion. They're all young teams, young programs. But you have to sell your team on, we want to keep playing. You know, we want that trip to gain, so we want to be there. And it, it's an attitude thing, and it's, it's tough to look at when you're having a losing season, when you're having a losing record. Hey, we still have something to play for, and it's both a gift and sometimes some teams just aren't up for it. You know, they, they just they lose interest in it. They're, they understand that that game against Florida is most likely not going to go their way, and they just don't have it. But it's whoever brings it in these next couple of games. That's the team that's going to be playing in games for her team. She wins the draw control, then puts the ball in the back of the net. Bellmaster Pietro, second goal today, 24th of the season. That's the second best mark on the team. And Bridget Whitaker having another nice afternoon. It's now two assists. Drexel, though the Dragons took away those opportunities. They had great goalkeeping. They've continued to have great goalkeeping all throughout the season. But Temple, then they learned their offense got stronger. Players like Bridget Whitaker have turned it on. And even though they've lost some players along the way, had some injury concerns, they've really come out a stronger team, more poised to play against teams like Florida, North Carolina, Maryland, teams that you know are going to be there come May. I think this Temple team's ready to really make a run in the postseason. Well, that will wrap it up for us here from Howard Field. For my partner, Mason Viner, I'm Kevin Cox saying so long one final time this year from Howard Field where your final score is Temple 11, East Carolina 6.
All games airing on the ESPN networks are streaming live and archived on the ESPN app. This has been a presentation of ESPN.